Now we will solve problems using relationships between arcs, chords, and diameters. Here you can see different type of figures. All you need to do is solve for x. Now you can see x is over here unknown. Here, here, and various other places in terms of equations or different ways. Before we begin, we will just recall few of the formulas. Now, whenever a chord is cutting, now for example, this is a chord over here. This chord see this part and this part are equal these two chords are equal then the theorem states over here the arcs will also be equal so this is very important whenever you can see any any two chords these two chords say for example they are equal because they are mentioned it if there is a dash same line over here that means it's equal or if it's two lines like this same two lines then they are equal then the arc which is formed because of that the minor arcs they are also equal now simply saying if this is 116 this over here is also 116 but is this x also 116 in this case yes because the angle that forms the minor arc is also equal right so over here there's one more formula you can see it's from the center right the radius and the arc and this arc are equal you know whenever it's formed over here if it's outside then this would be half of this uh, so this is the concept so now we will solve quickly a few problems over here they are told to find this part what is this x unknown but what is the total angle of this circle it's x plus this is also x because if this is x this is also x right so again x plus 64 now this total is equal to what total is equal to 360 degrees so the only thing is this concept this two chords tells us this and this are equal now you can easily solve it up 2x plus 64 equals 360 and you can Take this to the other side and solve it or directly in the calculator anyhow it's possible so you will get the answer 148 over here it was 116 now similarly sometimes they'll not give you the dash on the lines or the chords over here they are mentioned this is 4 and this is 4 that means they're equal so this is 82 then this must be 82 similarly you can solve the remaining we will solve this equation over here about, about this eighth or ninth one now you can see there are two circles and they have mentioned over here in this circle v is congruent to circle w that means they both are equal and now how you can solve how you can solve over here is they have not given any equal to sign but they have given the arcs see over here this is the eighth one is much easier because they have told this arc and this arc is same so then it is easier to solve because you can just equate these both 6x equals to 2x plus 24 i'll just write over here 2x plus 24 if you just solve this equation you will get the answer for x but in this case you know this much is 162 you need to find the remaining angle this will be 360 minus 162 similarly over here solve 198 minus uh, 360 minus 198 when you do it let's just do it 360 minus 198 I'm sorry you will get 162 so now I know this and this is equal even if you do 360 minus this uh, minus 162 you'll get 198 now I know these all are equal this arc is equal this is equal this and this then I know even this and this chord must be equal because that is what the theorem says if these two arcs are equal then these two chords are also equal we have we are told right if these two chords are equal then the corresponding arcs are equal same way if the arcs are equal the chords also must be equal it's just that you have to solve 3x equals 9x minus 78 when you solve this you will get the answer for x that would be the final answer so just do it by yourself these are very easy problems straightforward problems solve it by yourself and then check the answers over here